Hey finders and welcome back to Fortune Finds. Today I am serving you this look. I was inspired by Katie Jane Hughes. A few weeks ago she uploaded a smoky eye tutorial to her Instagram stories. If you missed it, you can still watch it. I will link her Instagram handle down below. And if you go to her profile on her highlight reels, there's a section that says big smoke. If you click that, this is the look that was inspired by that Instagram story. So I am just taking a black eyeliner. I'm gonna use it to smoke out and create this depth in my eye. And we just use a lot of sparkle. It's really fun. I love it. Very feline, sexy, sophisticated. I'm very like choppy with this video. If this intro goes up, I'm not wearing this shirt in the majority of the video. I'm wearing a different shirt. I applied this makeup three or four hours ago. Uh, went to dinner and I'm filming my intro and outro right now because I just simply didn't have enough time to do it then. So we're going with the flow, we're making it work. I actually like this look a little bit better now that it has sunken into my skin and has become one with the face. I love it, I think it's fun, it's really easy. Anyone can do it. It just takes a little time, it's just a little time consuming. So if you would like to get into it, please be sure to subscribe, click that bell button, this way you get a notification every time I'm uploading a new video here on my channel. And without further ado, let's get in to my Katie Jane Hughes inspired smoky eye look. Hey, hi, it's me. I only have an hour to get ready, so we need to bang this one out. How's my lighting in this video? I'm really struggling with the lighting. Actually, if you look behind me, I just bought this disc guy. I thought it was a lot smaller, um, but it's quite large. I bought it off of Amazon. I will link it down below, but I bought that for picture purposes, for picture purposes, because I do definitely want to take more beauty makeup photography. And I can't really seem to get the lighting in here correct. I also wanted to be organized today and put all of my belongings out in front of me, but uh, clearly I am just rushing because I am late to everything and I don't have anything ready for this. All right, so we are all on the same page. You guys know how I like to do this. I have my Exuviance Daily Renewal Cream with SPF. Honestly, I was a really big fan in the beginning. I'm not really loving it as of lately, and I need to pluck these bad boys right here, but I can't find my tweezer ever since we got back from California. It's lost. Should we just like swoosh them off? This is like the best thing ever. I'm just gonna take some Exuviance Serum just for some moisturization. I've been wearing this sunscreen all day long and I just need like a reset. If you are me and in the same situation, you should go ahead, take a cotton pad with a toner, an alcohol-free toner, and just rub that all over your skin to take off that moisturizer, but I'm rushing. So girl, I ain't got time for that today. And I'm gonna do an eye cream, leaf, aqua bomb, plump it up lip plumper. Um, and now we're gonna get onto the eyes because I definitely wanna do the eyes first because if we mess them up, I could just swipe them off, delete them. I definitely wanna prime the eyes and I'm going for a lighter foundation look today. So I think I'm just gonna use some concealer, Tarte Shape Tape on my little tray here. I really enjoy working from this tray. Grabbing some of that concealer, I'm just gonna lightly like put it around the eye. I recently uploaded a video of me and my sister where I did her makeup and I was watching it back. Our conversation about concealer versus foundation, we really didn't get into that topic. But I was looking back and I was just like, damn, I really like love me some concealer. I could live without foundation. I would be fine. Concealer is bae to me. Whereas opposed, you know, my sister said she doesn't even use concealer, which to me is wild. I know everyone does their makeup differently, but I feel like concealer is just like a staple. Like if you own any makeup, I feel like concealer is just one of those things that you own. But clearly I'm wrong. Like I don't know everything. So whatever. I'm taking the Marc Jacobs. This is the highliner and this is in the shade Blacker. Bought it yesterday. And I feel like a lot of people have talked about this one and how smudgy and creamy it is and how far it goes and how much you can just like smoke it out and blend it. I'm just going to take this. I'm going to draw this in the waterline. It's like really crazy how I watched Katie do this and she just like goes at it and like whips it in her, her eye. And I'm here like, how does one work that quickly? I'm going to bring you guys in. I'm not going to do dirty. I'm going to show you what it is I'm doing up close and personal. How do I show you this without not looking like terrifying? I'm pushing it between the lashes. But the thing that with me is that I always get liner on my contacts. This is why I need my eyeballs fixed. Can you see? It's like on my contact. So this is a disaster. I need to take this contact out and clean it. Hold on. Oh, what a mess. 
Okay, my friends, I'm just gonna chalk that up to that was just a very humbling reminder that I am no Katie Jane Hughes. I just take my contact out and like clean it to death because my entire contact was black from that eyeliner. Okay, hi, we're back. I'm just gonna take it from the brush. I'm gonna take it from the pencil, excuse me. And I'm just gonna draw it on. And when I get out here, I wanna keep my eye open. Like wing it out, but keep your eye open so you can see where it is you're placing that. This eyeliner really does smudge really nicely. That's crazy. Take this, this is a lip brush, but I'm just using it as an eyeshadow brush. And I'm just gonna like wing this out like I would with any liner. And then I'm gonna bring it in a little bit just to like lift the lid. I'm gonna go in with a flat brush. I don't want this to be like a perfect wing. I just want it to be like a smoked out shadow. But like it's important for me to shape my eyes with them open as I think everyone should because I do have hooded eyes. So if you leave your eye open, you're gonna see like where that shadow is gonna translate because I have this extra skin here. It hides a lot of that shadow I'm creating. So I wanna leave my eye open and just fill in the gaps of what I want it to look like. Is this okay? Can you see like what I'm doing? I'm like really struggling today. It's like I almost don't really remember how to film, but I feel like when I zoom in this close, it makes that really annoying noise on my camera. So I hope it's not. So I'm just smoking this out and just shaping my eye to what I want it to look like. I'm having a day guys. Like I got my hair done today, which is why it looks so good. It never looks this good on my channel. Um, and then I went to Ulta. I'm just having a day and I feel like I'm excited and I feel like I'm rambling and I feel like when I get excited I say I feel like a lot and I just talk a lot so here we are I'm gonna take like a little bit of a blending brush and just fluff this out it's kind of looking a little purple on my skin and Katie went in with a brown because she really wanted to warm it up and I do like the effect of warming it up. I think it really looks nice and I, I'm going to do it, but I think I'm going to go in with a purple and I do want to go in towards the lashes and just add a little bit of black. I don't think Katie did this. I just want to do this so it gives a fuller lash line. Put some underneath the eye as well. I'm just going to blend it out and I'm going to connect them in the corner. I just feel like that makes any look a little bit more done. I just like how it emphasizes the shape of my eye. Cause I do, I have almond eyes. And I'm gonna go in with that black and I'm going to carefully line my bottom lash line. Cause I don't wanna have to rip my contact out again. Back in with that lip brush. I wanna take some of that shadow out from in here. So it's a little bit more bare to like perfect this outerness. Is that making any sense? Probably not. So I just grabbed some Q-tips. Probably should have grabbed them before. I have a makeup wipe. I'm gonna soak the Q-tip into the wipe, like so. And I'm kind of gonna like squish it to a point so it's a little bit pointier. And I'm just gonna clean this in here. And I am taking that concealer off in doing so, but that's okay. Take my concealer brush and just tap it over that area. I'm not adding any additional product. I'm just taking whatever concealer was left over from when we primed the eyes. So I'm happy with that. I don't think it's supposed to look perfect. I think the trick is getting it to look the same on both eyes. This purple is really speaking to me in the Huda Beauty Mob Obsession. Small, little, flat-ish, fluffy brush. And I'm gonna pat this over that black. And I feel like a purple, especially such a subtle purple as this, I feel like it does more for my eye color. A pencil brush, and I'm just gonna blend this out. I'm gonna take that same brush, I'm gonna wipe whatever is left on it. I'm gonna go into this chocolate palette, and I'm gonna grab this brown. It's like a cooler brown, because I feel like the cool will look better with the purple. I don't know, this is just my thought process. I think so, yeah. And I'm just gonna put this like right there. And see how it kind of just like frames the entire eye q-tip and i'm just gonna take it off of my brows i want there to be like a distinction like you see how you can see the skin right here i kind of want a little bit of skin underneath the brows as well 
I'm gonna take this J-Cat glitter. I don't know, I'm gonna link it down below before I drop it all over me, but I'm gonna take that a little bit of that. I'm gonna mist my brush with some setting spray and I'm gonna dust this down the center of the eye. Yes. And then I'm gonna take my finger and I'm just gonna pat it out to blend it. Wow. I kind of want to bring the glitter out a little bit to the wing of my eye. So I'm going to take a different little brush, a different detailing brush. Go back into this CoverGirl palette and I'm going to grab this purple here. Place this over this section of the eye. Is there glitter showing up? Yes. Oh, wow. I need time to like get changed because does this go with my outfit? I think so, actually. I love this. Wow, this is so fun. I'm so glad I did this. Put it underneath the eye as well. I'm gonna like stamp it. And that is one eye done. I'm gonna hop off camera, attempt to recreate this really quickly. It's crunch time, I can no longer talk to you. So I will put all of the products down below in the description box, but I'm gonna like power through this. Seriously, because I don't have enough time. What else is new? I feel like I always do this to myself. It's really, really unfair and awful. Fortune. Stop doing this. I'm going to use my Thrive Cosmetics. I feel like there's no, like, sexy way to put mascara on. For me, at least. I feel like I've seen a lot of people do it really nicely. It's just, it's not in my DNA. I don't make pretty makeup faces, and I'm not going to pretend like I do. Okay, lower lash line. I feel like we definitely need a nude with this look. We're not faux. It's been a minute. Faux show. <laughs> dad jokes. Love a good dad joke. I definitely want to use a little bit of a liner. And then I really got to go. So that was MAC Faux that I just used. Now this is um, a lip liner from BH Cosmetics in Sandy. And I'm just going to go over the edges with my finger. Kind of make it like an undone lip. I did such a good job. You are beautiful. Thanks. Bye everyone, we're going to dinner. Okay, 15 minutes? We need to be in the car. All right guys, and this is the finished makeup look. Sorry, I need to speed through this. If I wanna do an outro, I'll come back and do an outro after. I'm really happy with how this came out. I feel like this is very dramatic to go have dinner at Blue Ale House, but uh, why not? Anyway, do you. I'm just, I could just really sit here and like fix my face up for like ever, but I really gotta go. So, like Mike said, I gotta go. As always, I will list all the products that I use down below in the description box. I know I kind of hustled through the base of my face, but it really hasn't changed. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you recreate this, definitely be sure to let me know. I love this. Katie Jane Hughes, thank you for uploading this look and really inspiring me. It really made me play with my eye shape, and that's something that I definitely have said that I want to work on because I just feel like with hooded eyes, and you know, everyone has different shaped eyes, and you have to do different things to give that elongated look and to give that brightening and like wide eyed effect. So it's just fun to really practice with an eye shape and do a look like this. It's kind of driving me crazy. I feel like they're a little bit different. I feel like this one is not as deep as this one, like in this area, but I'm gonna just go with it. I feel like this is meant to be sexy. Like I kind of just threw this on my face, although you guys definitely saw. This took some time. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I'm doing a lot of rambling, but you guys know I've been so crazy today. I feel like I've been so crazy in this whole video. If you guys enjoyed this makeup look, please be sure to give this video a big thumbs up down below. If you have not subscribed, do it and click that bell button so you get a notification every time I'm uploading a new video on my channel. I had a great time as always. I gotta go. Thank you guys so much for joining me and I will see you in my next one. Bye finders. Mwah.